Here's what Dak Prescott's brother, Tad, tweeted, and I quote. So if it wasn't clear already, it is now. The Eagles have the best front office in the NFL. Hashtag, how about them Cowboys? Sounds pretty sarcastic to me, that hashtag. Keyshawn, big deal or no big deal that Dak's brother tweeted this? I think it's only a big deal because it's his brother and Dak's in the building. And when he walks around, people in front office is going to be looking at Dak as if he got frogs crawling all over his face. That is a fact. They're going to be, you know, I agree. what happens when you have family or close friends, for that matter, that in this world, tweeting out or, or using social media to get the frustrations out, the first thing we do is we connect the dots back Absolutely. to Dak Prescott. Yeah. As Dak is the one really saying this, even though he told his brother, he probably didn't tell his brother to send this message no, out. No, They're having a conversation, as normal human beings would do, Over about the lack of moves or whatever, or dinner, yeah, whatever yeah, walking yeah. their dogs, whatever yep. the case may be, working Agreed. out together. Normal conversations about the lack of off-season moves that the Cowboys have made. Yep. And is it fair to Dak? No, it's not fair to Dak. No, but it's also, I don't know which, is Dak older than him or is he, or is he the older brother? I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't even check to find out. I'm not sure. But he is his sibling. It is his brother. It is his blood. And so he sees the, 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 the pain in his brother's he does. face. Mm-hmm. He feels his heart when they lose or when he's bashed on national TV about something he had nothing to do with. And he's protecting his brother in a sense mm. by saying this. He's getting out in front of it to let you know if the Dallas Cowboys aren't good, it ain't because of my brother. It's because of the lack of off-season moves that you guys keep making. And that's that's basically what it is. You know, I'm... I, I, my family would do the same thing, mm. okay? And I had conversations with my family when I played. It just wasn't on social media. Just driving home. It, just yeah, driving home. Yeah. yeah you, I, you have no idea the, the, the complaining and the stuff that I did. I do. Driving, <laughs> <laughs> sitting at the dinner table after a game, and it's a normal conversation. Why didn't y'all do this? How, what happened there? And you're talking about it, and all of a sudden, it can't get out because... They don't know writers back then, and it was no social media. Well, this is it's different now. Different. And, and so you point the finger in the building. You're going to point the finger at Dak. And no matter what Dak says, what are you going to say? Man, I can't control my brother for what he says. It has nothing to do with me. I mean, I can only tell him to stop. That's, that, that's really all he can say. He can't say anything else. Yet, as you sit there right now, you believe that 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 thought was somehow inspired by conversations he's had with his brother. I would be a lie if I told you different. I absolutely yes. think that's the case, and that's okay. That's fine. The Jones families have conversations amongst each other about the players and how they didn't play well, and we should get rid of this guy, and you don't think that that's the case? And then sure. when they leave their home... And they go hang out at one of them steakhouses in Dallas, and they talking to one of their buddies. You don't think that they would tell their buddy, oh, man, I just, I wish our left tackle was just a little bit stronger. Okay, but Jerry Jr. does not run to Twitter or X and, and, and hammer Dak for a poor game. No, right? no, okay. he doesn't. Yeah. But Jerry Jr. or Shyla may have a conversation with somebody that may run the Twitter, but because you don't know the connection, you can't point the finger at them because you don't know the connection of that individual person, but you see it on your timeline that says, our quarterback sucks, but you don't know that that really came from somebody in the building. Yeah. But you know this came from his brother because his brother is connected to him. It does. And that's the only reason why... We even having this conversation because I'm sure if you look at cowboy stuff and negative comments, they all know somebody that put those negative comments in those threads. They do. I can promise you that. Yep, you're right. It's just not connected to them. Mm. But we can connect this to Dak because of his brother. Okay. So 
I've encountered this phenomenon for years and years in the journalism business where a relative, a close friend will speak out in defense of or taking shots at another team. And I always hold the player accountable for those quotes as, as if they, they were detonated somehow from said player. And as you said, this organization will look at Dak today if he walks down the hall with frogs on his face because, oh, you're t it's, it's mutinous. But you know, they're not going to say anything. They're yeah. just going to look at it. They're going to look at it. Weird. Him. Okay. I've said this before again and again, and she won't like me saying it publicly, but my wife, Ernestine, is a dynamo. She is really good on television and on podcasts. She badly wants to do her own podcast, and I warn her again and again, whatever comes out of your mouth on that podcast in relation to another media member, anybody I work with here at FS1, it will be held against me because it will be seen as coming somehow from me because that's just the way it works. And she's like, yeah, but my opinions are my opinions. Well, she and I, we have dinner a lot, you know, like, like yeah. she's listening, so she's hearing. Yeah. And I say, it's just too dangerous. The, the ice is just too thin. So I, I'm pretty sure that Dak has warned Tad before about, because he's constantly on there after games defending his brother, which is a beautiful thing to watch. But you just have to be careful about you can't go from defending to taking shots at because it's... But maybe, but maybe he does it, Tad... I don't know why I want to call him Thad so bad. Yeah. Tad may not feel that he's taking shots at the organization. Yeah. He may but, just but, feel he's pointing out what's a fact. And it, that he feels as though yeah, I, the Eagles have the best front office in sports or football, whatever whatever it is that he thinks. Okay. That, and, and I don't think that that's not okay. I think that's okay yeah. if that's the way he feels. Although they did lose six of their last seven games, but I that's not... don't just care that, yeah, but. <clears throat> about that. What they've done in the offseason is try to retool to get back to the Super Bowl. They've shown you Every single year... They just do. They're going to try to get better. Yep. They're going to try to get better. They're going to go Kevin Byard. They're going to go Shaq Leonard. They're going to try, try and try. try and try. Trade for A.J. Brown. Yeah. Uh, 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 move on from a guy that they gave $100 million to at the quarterback position. Yep. Bring in Saquon Barkley. They're going to trade up with Dallas to get Devontae. Yes. Right? They, yeah. they went up. They go, right? So they... Okay. And it's not that Dallas hasn't done some things. They went out and got Gilmore and Cooks last year. They did. It didn't amount to much but no. an exit in the first game in the wild card game at home Correct. to a seven c yep okay so <sighs> jerry won't like this jerry will take it personally but here's the point the one thing i have loved about dak is he has stiff armed jerry jones from the start as you know having been there and done all that and knowing jerry jerry likes to take players, especially star players, under wing and, yeah. and make them like a son. Zeke became like a son. Dak didn't, didn't, he never became like a son to Jerry Jones. And I respect that because Dak's like, no, at some point we're going to have to negotiate against each other, so I'm not going to give you a hometown discount, and he never has. And he yeah. probably shouldn't have. Yeah, okay. So maybe it's a good thing that he stays arm's length from Jerry, but this is just another indication because if you're like a son to Jerry, like Michael Irvin, like, like a son to Jerry Jones, still is to this day, still very close. Well, nobody from Michael's camp or family is going to tweet anti-Jerry Jones. They're just not going to do it because Michael doesn't have an anti-Jerry bone in his body. You, you see what I mean? But Dak does because they have been adversaries. Remember, Jerry put him through the ringer for, for the last contract. It went on for two long years. And finally, Jerry folded, and Dak won. And he said when they did their announcement press conference, Jerry looked down the table at him and said, you, 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 you got me, because he did. Well, he waited too long. Yeah. Jerry could have done the deal a lot sooner could have. and saved himself some money. Yeah, but, but it shows you, well, he didn't want to wait. He just had doubts about Dak Prescott. I think he did from the start. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he had doubts. I think he didn't want to pay the type of money yeah. for a quarterback that was coming off an injury 
that they wouldn't have. Well, but it, it wasn't a him. slam dunk, Patrick Mahomes, what do you want? Let's just do this, right? Patrick Mahomes has won Super Bowls. Yeah, okay. So there it's we go. easy to do that. Every organization negotiates differently. Yeah, but I they mean, Dak do. Prescott is two and five in the postseason. That's what you're up against. Yes, okay? you're two, he's two and five in the postseason, yep. but that has nothing to do with paying that man his money. Well, it does if you're going to pay him the you, most money. If you money. don't believe in him, if you don't believe in him, like I told you, Skip, <clears throat> let him play under this $59 million okay. uh, cap number, and when his ass walk out the building on you next year, okay. then you're going to be sitting around talking about, oh, gosh, what are we going to do? Okay. That's what's going to happen. Multiple reports at the Combine said <clears throat> that we all misinterpreted all in as it pertained to Dak, that all in by Jerry pertaining to Dak meant he's going to make him prove it this year or let him walk. I, for, I don't know that for that's sixty I, million dollars. I understand reports, and I understand everybody got their connections and talking to people. I get all of that, but I didn't interpret all in was about Dak Prescott, other than paying him and paying CD. I mean, but that, paying, but that w that would be all out on Dak Prescott, right? That, that's, yeah, that, that, that's what it would be yeah, to me. Yeah. All in said to me that Jerry Jones is going to do everything within his power to maintain his three-headed monster and try to build around them and keep the coach and bring in a different coach on the defensive side and be all in so they can move on to the next level. Y'all, as Dallas Cowboy fans, for whatever reason, he said all in, and y'all went crazy. We'll make a move. Like Y'all went move? crazy. Yeah. Oh, we getting ready to sign this person. We gonna trade for that person. We gonna give away the trade. That's not what the man said. Mm. He just said, I gotta go all in. So His all-in may be different than your okay, all-in. Okay, but your all-in description is, or definition is, business as usual. Just, just my, my, my let's stay the course. My all-in definition is, I got to pay these dudes, so I'm all-in with my pockets, and mm -hmm. I'm going to come out of them and pay these guys that I need to pay. That's my definition. Okay, and those guys got you what? Yeah, Where did you, they get you? Okay, so get rid of C.D. Lamb and Michael Parsons, too, then, okay. man. I'm just saying. Just get rid of everybody, okay. Skip. The quarterback's got you two and five in the postseason. Pay no, the man. No, the team has got you two and five. Mm. The team. Yeah. Don't get me started on other quarterbacks, Skip. Because there's other quarterbacks that got under 500 records that get that continuously get their money. We're talking about the Dallas Cowboys That's here. Dope. This is the same story that you and Michael tried to sell to mm. Derrick Henry. It's the Dallas Cowboys. You need to play for the Dallas... Don't nobody care about that, man. Only person care about that is you. Nobody else. People that's listening to the show and watching what we do, they can care less. They just want a team that's going to win. I still have my doubts there was any conversation between Derrick Henry, agent, that and may, Jerry. I, I don't know how formal the conversations were, but without really knowing, I bet you there was a conversation or two with somebody in each camp, and it could have just simply been, what's he looking for? What you think? Is he interested? Would he be interested? We got five. That's really all we got. I mean, no, they, they, it, 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 I'm not going to sit here and say that the Dallas Cowboys didn't do anything. They mm. just never did anything. Did pick up a phone. Never saw his representatives at the combine. Never saw him walking through the airports down the hall. No, I'm not going to say that because I know how it goes mm. in passing. It ain't no different in our business, Skip. Yeah. Okay, when you get ready to come up on your deal and you run into one of these executives at one of these seminars somewhere, they say, hey, would you ever like to come work for us? Mm. It's the same thing. I don't think any conversation took place because there was no conversation to be had because Jerry doesn't do that. At best... J Jerry he, would do it for the low, what he considered the low. What's the new veteran minimum under the new cap? I don't even know what it's it is. One point... It? One point... One point... 60, I think. I think it's like something okay. like that. Seems like it's a little higher, but whatever. That's no, veteran what... minimum's like 1.1, 1 .1, basically. Okay. All right. Well, whatever that is, that's what they got. You want that? No, that's why I'm going yeah. to Baltimore. That's exactly what And I'm going to win a championship. Yeah. I have a better shot of winning the, the championship with that organization than I do the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, I'm not sure. That, that shouldn't be, but you, you're, you're right about that. I, I give you that. But he would have been a difference maker in Dallas. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. <sighs> we got problems. We, right. now, now we got a mutiny in the locker room by our quarterback. <laughs> <sighs> okay.
Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.